These tools challenge each other. I'm very sorry, but I can't bring this up. In 1958, I wrote the following. There are no heart distinctions. The crimes of the United States have been systematic, constant, vicious, remorseless, but very few people have actually talked about them. You have to hand it to America. It has exercised a quite clinical manipulation of power worldwide, while masquerading as a force for universal good. I have changed the subject. I want to ask you something. The dinner we had before. Hmm. The invasion of Iraq was a bandit act, an act of blatant state terrorism, demonstrating absolute contempt for the concept of international law. The invasion was an arbitrary military action inspired by a series of lies upon lies and gross manipulation of the media and therefore of the public. A. Fate to become D. You see this fist? This is my moral authority. And don't you forget it. I believe that despite the enormous odds which exist, unflinching, unswerving, fierce intellectual determination as citizens to define the real truth of our lives and our societies is a crucial obligation which devolves upon us all. It is in fact mandatory. If such a determination is not embodied in our political vision. We have no hope of restoring what is so nearly lost to us, the dignity of man.